Objective 9.9, .9, explain the positive and negative human interactions within ecosystems and their impacts on biodiversity, including fish farming, introduction of non-indigenous species and eutrophication. So first of all, we've got to think about what actually biodiversity means. Well, biodiversity is a word that describes the variety of different organisms in a habitat. Some habitats like a rainforest have high biodiversity, other habitats like a field of wheat has a relatively low biodiversity. Now human activity can reduce biodiversity. We're gonna look at three examples of how this can happen. Fish farming, introducing uh, non-indigenous species, and eutrophication. So fish farming. Now with the growing global population, overfishing of wild fish stocks has damaged ecosystems. Therefore, more fish farms have been introduced. However, these can also have negative impacts on biodiversity. Many of these fish farms are done in open water by having large nets with the fish inside. And this can create problems such as excess food and waste leaking into the open ocean, increase in parasites which can infect wild animals, predators can get trapped in the nets and die, and the farm fish can escape into the wild and cause issues with the indigenous species, all of which can impact biodiversity. The second example is introducing non-indigenous species. Now, non-indigenous means not naturally occurring in that habitat, okay? And when you introduce those types of species, they can have problems for native species. They compete for resources such as food and can be better uh, than the native species, which causes their populations to decrease. They can also bring with them diseases and parasites that the native species are not used to. So these effects can reduce the habitat's biodiversity. A good example of this is the cane toad that was introduced into Australia from South America to manage a pest called the cane beetle, which was eating the sugar cane. Now, it killed the cane beetle, but then it went on to become an even bigger pest itself because the toads are poisonous and kill native species. They have no natural predators in Australia, so they've just been able to reproduce out of control and are now a huge pest. The last example is eutrophication. Now, humans add fertilizers onto their fields to replace nitrates in the soil. But when it rains, these nitrates and other minerals can get washed into rivers and lakes. And that can result in something called eutrophication, which reduces biodiversity. What happens is these nutrients uh, go into the rivers and streams and lakes and they provide a huge amount of minerals to algae, which then grow rapidly. And that creates what's called an algal bloom, and that blocks out all the light in uh, that system. And because of that, all the plants underneath die. They don't have any light, they can't photosynthesize. If they die, they get decomposed by decomposing bacteria. And so those reproduce rapidly out of control. You get billions of bacteria. They then use up all the oxygen and the water becomes anoxic. Without oxygen, the animals die as they can't respire. So we get this awful situation in these uh, waterways uh, because of the minerals that get washed in there. So we end up with eutrophication occurring. 